now we are going to go through and we are going to learn some t common Tinkercad actions and you're going to be able to complete your first design using Tinkercad. Once you've done this, you will know a lot of the actions and be able to complete lots of different designs. So the first thing you always want to do is navigate to your dashboard. So tinkercad.com backslash dashboard and you're going to click on create 3D design. Always, 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 the first thing I'd like to do is um, they are going to put a crazy word here, a couple words here, and you'll just click on that to change your design. Now, I always like to put my name there and then what I'm making um, so that people, my teacher can easily find it, and, or when I download it, it's already named that right there. And so I easily know which design is which design. <clears throat> now these over here are your basic shapes so whenever you click on the shape then you are going to click on the work plane on where you want to place that shape this will always pop up with any shape that you have um, and I don't like how it covers up my work plane so I like to toggle that closed and you can just do that by clicking on this carrot here um, to open and close that Now you can, um, to resize your shape, you can click and drag to make it larger or smaller, um, but you can also click and then type in the boxes. And I like to do that because if I ever have precise measurements, um, then that's going to be what I'll want to do. So then I'm just gonna make this 50 by 50 for right now. And to change the height, I'm just going to click and drag on this top middle square. Or again, I can type in there. So I'm just going to change this to a height of 5. Now this view box over here is very important. It allows you to change the view of your design so that you can look 360 degrees all around your design. <laughs> if you ever get confused and want to go back to the original view, you just click on this home view and it takes you right back there. Now another cool feature is this fit in view button. If you click on that, it takes you closer into your design so you can um, tweak it easier and work with your design a little better. Another thing that you can do is you can lift your object off of the work plane. You want to do this sometimes with shapes, although Tinkercad has just introduced um, where you can drag them and they will go on top so it's a little different but you will at some point need to use this black triangle so you'll just click and you can drag that and it lifts your object up how many ever um, millimeters you need it to be lifted up now something I use all the time a shortcut I use all the time is dropping things to the work plane um, because sometimes you need to do that and you're not really sure how high it is up so an easy way to do that is just to press the letter D on your keyboard and it automatically drops it to the work plane for you. Okay, now to make a hole in your shape, I'm going to insert a whole cylinder. Now the cube or the box and the um, cylinder holes are already here for you, but you can insert anything and make it a hole. You just click on the hole option here and you can toggle back and forth and change the color. So anything can be a hole, but the cylinder and the box are just already there for you. So I'm going to click the corner of this, and I'm going to change the side to 5 and the front to 5. I'm going to go back to my home view so I can see this a little better, but I'm going to click. And while holding down my mouse button, I'm going to drag across both of my shapes, and then I'm going to go to the Align panel. And then I'm going to click on the bottom center circle to align my shapes to the middle. Now I'm going to make sure that my hole is far enough away from the side so that it won't break if I try to hang something here like an ornament or a keychain. But I'm going to keep um, my design area open so I can put other things there. So you want to place it about there and I'm going to click and drag across my shapes to group them. 
you will notice that this just cuts out where that hole was. So it put a hole completely through the center of my object. Now I'm going to put in a rounded roof shape. And if you see these little angle arrows come up, but I can't really see them. So I'm going to use my view box to toggle kind of um, drag it to the right. So I'll click and drag to the right until these come up. And then I'm going to just drag the arrows to the back until it says negative 90 degrees. So it makes this kind of um, rainbow shape. Now, whenever you clicked this angle arrow, you will see that it dropped that rainbow shape below the work plane. So all I have to do is click on D to drop that to the work plane as well. I'm going to go ahead and change the height to eight millimeters tall. And then I'm going to drag it over to um, my shape over here. And I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom. Now I want to put text on my ornament keychain thing. So I can um, insert text right here. So I'll just put my text in here. And to change it, you're going to need to toggle or show that inspector. So you'll just click down there and you're going to change this. And I'm just going to do the word hi. And then I'm going to hide that again. So then I'm going to make sure that this is eight tall and I'm going to drag it over to my keychain ornament and I'm just going to make it really small, not really small, but about here on my ornament. And I'm going to leave an open space because I'm going to show you how to draw a free design. So you can just click and drag this and make it fit how you would like. Now I'm going to freehand my own design. So I'll just click here on this squiggle and then click on the work plane and then it's going to open up this other box. Now you can click with your mouse and then drag or you can use your finger if you have a touch screen. So I'm just going to make a heart here so I'm going to click and drag and as you notice it is showing you over here what it's going to look like on your screen and then I'm going to add the other side of the heart. So then I've added a heart. I'm done with that design, so I'll click on done. I'll click on this top middle circle. I'll change the height to eight. And then I'm just going to drag it over to my ornament keychain shape and just make it where it will fit in that area. Also, I like that. So I am finished with my ornament. I can click and drag across all of my shapes and then I can group them together just to show what it's going to look like when it's printed out. If you have a one color 3D printer, if you have a multicolor, then obviously yours will can be a little different. So that's what mine's going to look like. It's just a simple design, but I learned a lot doing just those simple tasks. I learned about rotating, dropping to the work plane, taking the hole out, adding text, freehand drawing, um, so lots of different common tasks that you're going to do in your Tinkercad over the course of using this program. You've completed your first project. The only thing you'll need to do is if you're going to print it, then you will click on export and choose the file type that you need. I always need .stl, so I would just click on that and it's automatically already named the file name. If your teacher is going to print it out, then um, I'm going to show them how to do that in a separate video. So congrats on making your first design and learning how to use Tinkercad.